an absolute outrage that I won't bother. Son of Yeats. Yeats. Oh, whatever. That I, son of Yeats, have to struggle on foot while this Egypt, this bumbling fool of a roadie, gets to ride along on the cart so that he won't tire himself out with the equipment. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, 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 oh. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it seems oh. I'm not just your roadie. Oh. I'm your only support these oh, days. Get off! Oh, oh. I wish I could get oh, up this oh, too. Oh. And now, I have to deal with his lack of sleep as well. I've got a lot on my plate at the moment. <laughs> Looks like his plate's been eaten by looking at his stomach. Listen, Xanthius, if I won't get this new song like by Monday morning, then there'll be no Help the World Festival. There'll be no Bonner, and there'll be no wages for you. Get it? There's a land that's not on any map where you can if you want to take a crap. It does look good. <coughs> Boy, hey, oh. that sounds like one of my guys. Hey, maybe you could use him for one of your songs, huh? How about this, huh? If nobody will take away my pack, Oh, fuck so hard it'll blow off my back. Say that until I need to throw up. It's not going to stir the masses. <clears throat> Except if they have constrictor bowels. Ooh, I know. You could tell the people that the world's problems result from political constipation. Or from the exploitation of poor roadies like me, who have to carry everything while their bosses stroll along creating useless songs. Great sadness. I think the modern stench of these events are enough with our turn and night song for the Help the World Festival and your great big dose of X-Lax. Huh? There's a place for the human race. It's kind of ace. Oh, Jesus. Yep, he's finished. <laughs> so, where are we going again? Nowhere. Well, we've got to be going somewhere. We are. Where? Nowhere. Well, why can't we just go somewhere? We are. Where? Nowhere. Ah. Listen to this. We're going nowhere. You know, Hades, hell, the underworld, the netherworld, into the abyss. All right, all right. I get the picture, OK? But why am I stuck in this mogul with the Memphis Blues again? Because Elvis is the only one who knows how to get down there. He goes there all the time. But why are we going there? Because I need to find Lennon. I need his help. Well, don't you just write your own songs and we can go back home. I try, but I can't. I, Lord Bonoff. I love you. She hates them. Ever. I. What? Lord Bonoff. I, Lord Bonoff, son of the great god of the English language, can no longer write lyrics. How am I supposed to save the world and put everything right if I can't even pen the merest ditty? Well, why don't you just try to entertain the world, eh? And uh, put on one of those, you know, great stage shows. Oh, come on, like David Bowie or T-Rex in the outlandish outfits. <laughs> Gotta like what he's wearing now. And then you can make all the people in the world forget about all their problems. Or we could put on a big stage show, you know, like the monster called Eddie, huh? You know, oh. There's one in every show nowadays. Not in mine. You also? I said not in mine. Ooh. Every time I have to go and sit one of these theatrical routines, I come away at least a year older. No. I've got to continue on my search for Lennon. He's my only hope. Oh, this guy really does have a problem. You know, those knights in the old days, they were searching for the Holy Grail. But this guy is on a quest for a stick, and he's the boss! Whenever I try to write, Lennon's words just come back to me. You know, like, uh, words are flowing out like endless rain in a paper cup. If I can't get my lines to flow, then I need him to help me write songs. Then we'll save music. And then humanity! <laughs> we are the world. Uh. We have great intent, but I am carrying all the goddamn equipment. <laughs> of course you're not. You're riding. Imagine all the people out there saying that. I'm carrying the equipment all the same. But the cart's carrying everything. Oh, is it? Why don't you tell my shoulders that? If the cart's so little use to you, why don't you switch places with it? Oh, oh, oh. 
God, the rosy sake. If only I'd gotten into American Idol. I could have been a contender. <laughs> <laughs> Except I'm stuck here in Memphis with this son of Yeats. Yeats! Uh, whatever! Come on, get down off the cart. We're here, if I'm not mistaken. This is our first port of call. Okay. Uh, hello! Is the king in the building? Big urge? Yeah. Biggie small size. Mm. For a woman? <laughs> oh, no, no. A boy? Ew. Certainly not. A man then? Please! This is a man you want. What is it? Come on, this is serious. I'm sending out an SOS. What you need, little brother? I need Lennon. When? But he's dead. Yeah, but nobody can stop me from going to find him. But he's nowhere. He's got to be somewhere. Oh, for the freaking rainbow! <laughs> but he's nowhere to be found. Well, if I've got to go somewhere, I'll go nowhere. <sighs> no, don't start that again. Oh, we need to go to the underworld. Ah, uh, let's see. Do you want to go there for later? Why do you need him? Because I need a songwriter who can really write. These days, it seems, many are gone, and those that live are bad. <laughs> it's his own writing that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> what about that Lady Gaga guy? Bad? Well, she's one of the only decent ones left. Except I don't know how good she'd be without her poker face. <laughs> what about Pete Townsend, huh? Who? Exactly. Who are you? Who's next? <laughs> Gregory Allen and Elvis Costello? <laughs> There's always Chris Martin. Oh, that'll be a cold play in hell. <laughs> Why Lennon? Why not Harris? Because Lennon is all I need. Besides, he'd be much more willing to uh, sneak away with me. Lennon was always a much more slippery customer. Harrison, on the other hand, was always taking life in stride, and I'd be willing to bet he'd take that the same way. Hey. What about Steve Merritt? Oh, to hell with Merritt. He's the man with a small face. Low Joe. Oh, his feet were small, but not his feet. Oh. Jerry Garcia. He's grateful dead. Sid Barrett, then. He shuffled off his mortal coil. All this stuff about the bleeding choir invisible. Never a word about me. Say, take a look at my shoulders. He'll never be the same again. Shut up. Surely there are dozens of young musicians cracking out songs by the thousands these days. <laughs> I like that song, Wrecking Ball. And what about One Direction? Hmm? I have all their songs on my iPod. <laughs> really? Well, they're not going any direction I'm interested in. I defy to find a genuine poet among them. One who can coin a memorable line. What do you mean, genuine? One who can create something truly original, like Nothing you can do that can't be done. 
or that bit about the walrus sitting in an English country garden waiting for the sun. Cuckoo, cuckoo. You like that kind of thing? I love it. And love is all you need. That beetle stuff is all over the world. You must see it. Nothing you can do, as the poet says, but you can learn how to be you in time. You should have deported them when I suggested it. Never a word about me. Damn, shut up. Hey, hey. Ain't that my cane? Uh, yeah, I made the highest bid on eBay for it. Only cost me 15000 Yeah, but I had to glue it back together. So he's the one keeping me in my blue suede shoes. Let's get to the point. You've been going nowhere for quite some time now. You're dead one minute and you're alive the next. So I was wondering if you could give me a few tips. Uh, any useful contacts down there? Where I get the boat? Uh, how to find the best restaurants, bakeries, uh, boozers, knocking shops, uh, and uh, which places have the fewest creepy crawlies? Yeah, I might as well not even exist. You're not seriously planning on going down there, are you? You're nuts. <laughs> Never mind that. Just give me a simple answer. What's the quickest way to nowhere? I want a route that's not too warm, but not too cold. Let me see. You could go down by rope if you don't mind hanging around for a bit. Oh, that'd be a pain in the neck. Well, there's always the organic route. You need to off. That's right. Oh, now you're giving me cold feet. You want a way that just goes straight down? Exactly. I'm in a hurry. You know that tall building in the middle of Times Square? Yeah. Just go and wait on top of that on New Year's Eve. Hmm? Then what? Well, when the ball starts dropping, when all the people start shouting, ten, nine, eight. Mm. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> <coughs> when they get to zero, off you go. Where to? To the bottom. That's what I call the midnight train. Oh, no, no. Just think all of that uh, brain pudding. Oh, not that way. Which way then? The way you go. It's a long and winding road out of Memphis. Whew. Perhaps I should reconsider that. First, you come to a great bottomless lake. How do I get across? There's an old ferryman, there's an old ferryman named Jared who will take you across in a tiny boat, about so big, for two dollars. <laughs> it's amazing that you can do it with two dollars. How'd they get down there? <laughs> old Ron Hubbard introduced the idea in one of his past lives. Anyway, after that, you come to the snakes and the wild beasts. Thousands of them, all <laughs> terrified. It's no use trying to scare me off. Then you come to the great narrow filth in the external stream and die. That's Woodstock to you. Huh. Because of my scene. You find some unsavory characters wallowing in there. People who have wronged a guest. Mm. Are not paid for sexual favors from hook. What? Knock the mama's <laughs> back. Punch the daddies in the jaw. <gasps> Walk them in the perch. Not to mention all those people that learn the lion dance from Saturday Night Fever, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, after that, you'll hear the sound of music. Don't feel trapped. Then you'll come out of the bright sunshine, just like Abby. Go a little further, go a little further, and you'll see plantations of myrtle and happy bands of reverence. Men and women dancing and clapping their hands to a renaissance student. <laughs> what, they want to be rebarred? No, they just like the band's music. And who are they? People initiated into the rites of Woodstock. Well, I'm going to stand up for my right and have a sit down. Shut up. I'll tell you anything you need to know. They're right on the road to Frog's Palace. Well, goodbye, brother. Best of luck. And to you, too. This hey. is so neat, man. Come on, take off that gear. Oh, I haven't even put it all down yet. Come on, get the... Oh, look sharp! No, 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 no,